today's topic is coincidental learning versus conscious learning so are you learning coincidentally or are you learning consciously now what do i mean by this a lot of people i see they are learning coincidentally which means coincidence means it's without planning it's just happening on its own so yeah you don't have any conscious control over it so they keep practicing with the hope that they are learning something if you think about it how does practice help you improve your score practice helps you improve your score through learning right if there is no learning happening how will practice help you improve your score so now a lot of people do practice but it's just that they are hoping that it will lead to some learning there is no conscious effort to make sure that they are learning as much as they can it's just coincidental learning it happens on its own if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen people do thousands of questions learning very little out of it okay. so you learn a little then you learn a little from some other question and then so on of course there is some learning happening but it's coincidental it's whatever happens naturally it happens naturally there's another way to go about it once you understand that your improvement is going to come if you learn and the more you learn the more you grow the more you're going to improve your score then you could choose to make your learning conscious okay so you decide that okay my objective is to learn as much as i can and then have processes have that kind of mindset as you go about practicing questions that okay i'm trying to learn now if you are into that conscious mindset with like trying to learn consciously you will naturally pay attention to everything that you are not sure of right anything that is not you are you are not sure of you will try to understand okay what exactly is the confusion and if that is the confusion how can i resolve it and if you takes longer on a question then you would try to understand okay why did i take longer what can i do to reduce the time i'm taking on such questions or when you make a mistake you will not just say okay okay this is the reason this is wrong let me just move on you'll try to really understand okay this is a reason this is wrong but what was going on in my mind where where did i go wrong exactly and why was my logic wrong i need to understand that so that next time i don't follow that logic at all and then have i followed similar logic at other places and it worked and how do i make sure that whatever i'm learning from this particular question very specifically how can i apply this to future questions so if you are learning consciously you will want to ask these questions right that okay my objective is to learn then how do i make sure that i'm learning as much as i can but i see that a lot of people are not into it they're just practicing and they're just hoping that they will get something out of their practice don't do that once you have understood that it's through learning you're going to improve then make sure that you're learning as much as you can be really involved and try to learn from each and every question that you do thank you